Yesterday, they were having a huge honey festival. It is packed. All kinds of people here hanging out, playing with the kids. So back in the park behind St. Mark's Church. And the last time I was here yesterday, they were having a huge honey festival. All sorts of vendors out, pretty big crowd today. I was wondering by again on my walkie walks. So we'll check it out and see what's happening. All kinds of people here hanging out, playing with the kids. It's a beautiful fall day. It is uh, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Someday I'll figure out how to translate that into Celsius since my people invented the metric system. And then we quickly decided not to use it since it so, worked so much better than our system. But the rest of the world did like it. Yes, and the honey festival is on. So, all kinds of booze lined up, selling their products. I've never seen an entire festival dedicated to honey, but it's great. Got the equipment to, to take your own bees. This is towards the end of the day of the, of the I guess it was a two-day festival. I don't know. I didn't discover it until yesterday. So they're already taking down some of the tents and stuff. We're kind of here on the last life of it. Trying to capture a little bit of footage here before my battery dies. You can see people packing up. Put all kinds of wares. Stuff to aid in your beauty. Sweeten your foods. And then again, like I say, there's stuff here, not just to eat, not just to sample, but to actually do beekeeping, if that's what you want. Getting right behind the church. Turns out that's just somebody playing their violin and they've got a mixer going in the background. But if you're interested in this sort of thing, it's a little paradise for you. We have, where I come from, there's actually a pretty big culture of honey in uh, Appalachia, uh, which is the mountain region that I come from in the United States. And they have a, a lot of beekeeping. It's mostly very small, mom and pop beekeeping. We have, uh, because where I come from is like a rainforest, we get lots of allergies and uh, get stopped up real easy because they have so many different pollens in there. But one of the ways to cure that is to eat local honey or better yet, straight up bee pollen. So you could get raw bee pollen uh, from the local bee farmers, beekeepers, whatever they call themselves. You could eat a spoonful of that a day and it would prevent you from getting the allergies. So I don't know if this is all local honey or this is from all over Serbia. It seems to be like a lot of booze just to be local. But pretty neat, pretty neat. Don't know if the prices are good or bad, but uh, 
Very, very neat. And every time, basically every weekend that I have gone out in Belgrade since I've been here, the there's been some sort of event like this. Or something going on. Again, when I got here yesterday, this is in the afternoon. So uh, a lot of the uh, booze are gone. Uh, they had all kinds of cotton candy things set up. Uh, and they're obviously packing up right now because it's, uh, you know, it's uh, probably a couple hours of daylight left. But really neat thing. At least I thought so. But every, every time you go out into the weekend since I've been here in Belgrade, there's been some sort of event like this something i've stumbled on i'm sure it's well advertised to people because lots of people show up to these things i don't uh, read and write or speak serbian so their advertisements don't do much good to me <laughs> so i just stumble into them but um, what i find really cool about that is all over the world there's people huddled in their basements or being forced to be in their basements by the government and um, you know this is outside it seems like everybody's having a good time and uh you know life goes on so nice place in the world to be at this point in time i hope uh i'm sure belgrade is is even better you know during normal times but it is what it is right now all right